Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'm just going to get ready to do a few errands, um, hang out with my mom a little bit. I thought I would film it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my hair back and start doing my makeup. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, so the lighting might be a little different because it's still trying to get a little bright outside. It is raining today, so it might be a little dark, um, but we'll go ahead and just get started. Um, right now my skin has moisturizer on it, I cleanse moisturize, has SPF, and I'm just going to go ahead and start off with applying a lip balm. I'm using the Kapari Lip Love. I think I'm just going to do something fall today because I like fall and it's my favorite season to do anything with makeup. I'm going to go ahead and start off with applying foundation. I'm going to be using the Born This Way by Too Faced and it's in the color Snow. I'm going to just use that with my beauty blender. I'm going to dampen my beauty blender a little bit with the hydrating toner from Mirad. Just a little bit. I definitely like applying this with a beauty bit blender the most. I feel like when I apply it with a brush, there are some streaks in it. I don't know if it's the brushes I'm using or if the foundation is just a little too thin to apply with a brush, but either way, most of the time I do apply my foundations with a beauty blender. Of course, you want to pounce the beauty blender. You don't want to swipe because then you'll get swipe marks from the beauty blender. I do have a mirror down here, that's why I keep looking down and not at the camera because I need to see what I'm doing in my mirror. Alright, so I do have a little bit of a breakout here that I got extracted two days ago. And it's still a little dark so I'm going to go ahead and take my tart shape tape in fair and just dot it over that. That way it hides it just a little bit more. And just take the tip, the small tip of my beauty blender and just pounce it on top of it. Just blend it out. There we go. Alright, and now for under eye concealer I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Fair Fairest. Do you like this concealer because it's very lightweight? I usually do like a heavier coverage in the fall time or more of a matte foundation, but I have been using these two products for quite some time now, and my skin is so used to not having a matte foundation that yesterday I wore a matte foundation and I hated it. So hopefully I can kind of revisit a matte foundation later and end up loving it again because I really do like wearing them, but my skin was just a little too dry for them. This concealer also blends out really, really nicely. It goes a long way. It's not the most full coverage, but I'm okay with that because I don't want a really heavy under eye anyway. I just like the glow that this foundation gives to the foundation and the concealer together. During the summertime, I would just wear the concealer, and it's so lightweight and so easy to work with that I could, if I did see a little bit of creasing, I could just pat that out under my eye without even looking at a mirror, and it just went back to normal, which was awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the under eye and anywhere I put that concealer, really, with the e.l.f. Um, correcting powder. I do really like this powder too. Um, definitely keeps my concealer in place and I feel like it also keeps my oils under control. Um, I do tend to get oily in the typical spots so around my nose area, sometimes um, on my chin 
and in the center of my forehead. I do have a little bit of redness too and I find that the green in this um, powder really does help keep that under control too. Um, it definitely doesn't really show up on, it doesn't show up on the skin at all. Um, once you blend the colors together, it just blends right in. I'm going to do a little bit on my nose, a little bit more. Definitely helps from creasing, which is fantastic. Oh, I didn't do my eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and just blend out the concealer on my eyelids just a little bit more. Then put some powder over it so my eyeshadows blend a little better. Today I think I'm going to go ahead and just do my full face before my eyes. It changes every day what I do first. Just depends on what I'm in the mood for. Alright. I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to do a little bit of cream contouring today, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Fenty Beauty Matchstick Matte Skin Stick in Amber. I'm just going to go ahead and run this along my cheekbones here, right underneath, and then a little on the forehead. I really love the formula of these because they're not super stiff, but they're not so creamy that I'm going to lose a lot of product. Um, I'm just taking a angled like foundation brush to blend this out. And then once I get it a little more blended out, I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and just pounce over it to make sure it's all blended. I like these sticks a lot. I do have a highlighter, a blush, and um, the concealer as well. I think my second favorite, other than the contour, would probably be the highlight. They're very intense highlights, which I definitely like that a lot. I've always struggled to find the perfect shade for my skin tone. They're always usually pretty light or pretty orange toned, so they don't really go with my light skin complexion, but I really like this because it's very cool toned, so I can finally find a contour shade that I like. Alright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to powder contour now. I'm going to go ahead and just use the uh, e.l.f. Blush Duo in Fiji Matte and just take an angled contour brush and just go right along where I put that Fenty Beauty. I do like to make kind of a line and then blend up as I go. Um, I don't like a contour to have such a line and then don't go anywhere. I like to have that nice gradient as it goes up and kind of just blends in with the blush. A little bit on the forehead here. And then I also, just to bring everything together, I like to put a little bit on the sides of my nose. Not to like contour or anything, just to make sure that there's like dimension in the face. Alright, and then next we'll go ahead and move on to blush. Today I'm going to be using the um, Tarte. 12 hour Amazonian clay blush in Party. It's one of the blushes that I got in my uh, birthday present from Sephora. And I'm going to go ahead and take that on a stippling brush and just put it a little farther back. I like, definitely like to put it a little farther back during like the fall and winter months because I feel like it's more, it's not, it doesn't give you such a fresh face like you want in summertime. It's more of like a, I guess kind of like, I don't know, formal. I don't know, but I like the way it looks just a little bit more. In the summertime, I definitely like to bring my blush up a little bit more because it gives it more of like a, like a fresher appearance, but in the winter and fall, I like to set it back a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and highlight real quick. I have so many highlighting products right here because I don't know what I want to use. Um, hmm. 
actually, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes, and then we will come back to highlight, and then we'll kind of, that's what we want to do. So for my brows, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows before my eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow With in Ebony, in Ebony, yeah. So go ahead and just brush the brows real quick. I have, very fortunately, I have very thick brows, so I don't need a whole lot. I just like to extend the tail out just a little bit and darken it up because the front of my brow is definitely darker than the tail end. So I just like to make a tail, run it through just a tiny, tiny bit. Got all crazy. Just a tiny bit and then a little bit on the front just to make sure I have that line. So not a whole lot of difference between my natural brow, but just a little bit darker on the tail really. There's a storm in outside, and I'm really hoping I don't lose power during this. Because that would make the lighting even worse than it already is. Alright, so there's the brows. Super easy. I'm going to brush this side just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm also fortunate enough that I have dark enough brows that for brow gel, I actually just use mascara. I use what's ever left over on the wand after I do my eyelashes. So we'll go ahead... Take a sip of coffee real quick and then move on to brow or to uh, eyeshadow. So I'm actually using two different palettes. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette today. And I'm also going to be using a um, palette that I made full of Sephora single eyeshadows. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't have the names for them so I'm just going to have to point at them. Sorry about that. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with this middle brown color right there and I'm just going to take it on a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to take that in the crease. Primarily on the outside. I definitely want this to be a little bit more blown out to the side. Not so much a halo eye but more like a blown out smoky eye. This is definitely my favorite season for makeup, for sure. I think fall and summer are my favorite because I like how versatile your makeup can be in the fall with like warm and cool tones, but I also like how simple you can make your makeup in summer. I love during summer where I can wear like minimal foundation, minimal everything, and then like a bright orange lip and I feel like it just pulls everything together. So next I'm going to take just a little bit of a tapered blending brush, not so fluffy, and I'm going to go ahead and take this color right, oh you can't see that, I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here. So right below the first color that we used in the palette is where this color is, and then I'm also just going to put it right below where I put the first color on my eye. A little bit on the outer V and then just blend in. So to the other side here. I actually did this look yesterday and I really, really liked it. So I'm just recreating it for you guys today. Just to make sure all my edges are blended, I'm going to go ahead and take that first brush again with no additional product on it. Just blend out the edges a little bit more. bit closer up because my camera and my mirror are pretty far away from me right now. Okay, so I am saying that this I just need a little bit more of that um, orangey color that we just went in with. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on the outer V and then blend. And then back with our first brush with no product on it. There we go. 
All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take which brush is it? I'm going to go ahead and take a brush like this, flat and fluffy, um, and take this color here right next to the last color that we just put on. So this dark, like browny red color, and I'm going to go ahead put some on the brush, tap it off so I don't get too much and place it on the outer V and that is about it. And to the other side. And then again, just to make sure everything's blended, take our initial fluffy brush that we used at the very beginning with no additional product on it and just blend everything together. Alright. And then for the lower lash line real quick I'm going to go ahead and take those first two colors that we used. So these two right here on that brush that I used to pack the outer corner after I wipe it off and then just run those along the lower lash line. Alright, so that is it for the Jaclyn Hill palette. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take this Sephora Single Eyeshadow. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows I think I've ever seen. This is called Hollywood Calling. Um, it's like a brownie red base with a bunch of different colored glitter in it. It's like um, There's green glitter in it, orange glitter. It's super, super pretty. It's perfect for fall. So I'm going to go ahead and actually take that on my ring finger here and press it on my lid. I am actually going to go all the way close to the outside, so probably the first three-fourths of my eye I'm going to put this eyeshadow. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take, again, my first blending brush and just blend out all of the edges. Alright, and then to finish off the eyelid real quick, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and highlight with Champagne Pop today. Um, so taking Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop and just a flat shader brush like this. I'm going to take a little bit and just highlight my brow bone here. I like the center corner. Same with the other eye. Something that I also like to do with my inner corner highlight is I like to take a little bit of a smaller brush. Take like this little tiny like pencil brush here. This is by e.l.f. Cosmetics and I like to bring it up just a tiny bit just to really brighten that area up. Alright, and then for face highlight, I think I'm actually going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. Um, I think I'm going to take Forever Young and mix it with Glow Getter, so these two center colors right here. Uh, Forever Young is almost like a oh gosh, purpley color, and then Glow Getter is definitely more of a gold which is going to definitely warm up a little bit for the um, look, the eye look that we did. I'm going to go ahead and just put that on this high points of my face. I love this highlighter. 
I also, so the Dose of Colors, Desi, and Katie collection of stuff. So I definitely got the Fuego highlighter and the Sauvage liquid lipstick, and I cannot wait for those to come in. I think those are going to be perfect. That lipstick's going to be a perfect fall color, and I'm super excited. Alright, and then finish up with lipstick. I'm actually going to leave my lip balm on, on. I am using a liquid lipstick today, but I just want it to be a little bit more comfortable today. I'm going to be using the Tardist Lip Paint in Bling. It's this nice, like, uh, almost dark rosy color. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on real quick. Alright, and I totally just realized I totally forgot mascara, so I'm going to be using the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous and Carbon Black and just coat my lashes real quick. I don't use false eyelashes just because I don't feel like they're that comfortable and I don't want to have to deal with them. So I always just use mascara and I don't feel like I need false lashes per se. Um, definitely more like the more natural look that... Um, mascara gives. I'm going to coat the top and my bottom lashes. And again, I did say that my brows are dark enough that I am able to use my mascara, my leftover mascara as um, brow gel. So I'm going to go ahead and just run it primarily through the end of my brows and then just bring it forward just a little bit just to make sure my brows stay in place. Alright, I really do love this lip color with this eye look. I think it brings everything together and makes it super full. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead bring my hair up a little bit here. Alright, and here is the finished look. I really love this look. I love the uh, Sephora eyeshadow that's all over the eyelids. I think it's really, really nice for fall. And then how the gold highlight just brings everything together. The lip color is perfect for fall. It's more, it's not super, super dark. It's not a super dark lip, fall lip color, but it's not a super light, like, summery color. It's like that perfect in between fall lip color, especially for someone that th doesn't necessarily want to wear a bunch of dark lip colors. This is the perfect kind of just transition starter color. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm hoping you are enjoying the fall season. Um, leave comments below for what you want to see next, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.